All right, we are ready to study binomial probability distributions. We'll cover determining whether a discrete random variable is also a binomial random variable, use the binomial probability distribution function to calculate the probability of an exact number of successes in n trials, use that same function to construct a binomial probability distribution table, find the probability of a binomial random variable getting a number of successes within a certain interval. In this video, we're going to start by identifying a binomial random variable. We'll start with the definition. Binomial random variables are discrete random variables counts the number of successes in a set number of trials, which each have only two, that's the by part, only two possible outcomes, such as flipping a coin three times and counting the number of times it landed on heads. Okay, so binomial random variables, they're discrete, and we studied discrete random variables in general in a previous lesson, and binomial random variables are discrete, but they're special in that they're counting a number of successes when you have only two possible outcomes in each trial. There are three characteristics of a binomial experiment. There are a fixed number of trials. We need to know ahead of time n equals how many. How many times are we going to flip that coin, for instance? There are only two possible outcomes which can be thought of as success and failure or favorable and unfavorable. The n trials are independent and we have a constant probability of success. That means every single trial, the probability of getting a success is always the same. So here's an example. Flip a fair coin repeatedly and count how many times it lands on heads. Is this binomial or not? Let's review the characteristics. There has to be a fixed number of trials. Is that true? Does it say how many times we're going to flip the coin? No, right? It's been left vague. We're going to flip it repeatedly, but it doesn't say how many repetitions. So right off the bat, we recognize it's not binomial because there is not a set number of flips. N is not fixed. How about flipping a fair coin 10 times and counting how many times it lands on heads? Is it binomial or not? In this case, it is. Why? Because it satisfies all three characteristics. There is a set N, a fixed number of trials. We're going to flip the coin 10 times. Each flip can only be heads or tails, so there are only two possible outcomes. If a head happens on one flip, it doesn't change the probability of landing on a head in the next trial. So that is number three, independence. So the the fact that the probability doesn't change from trial to trial is the independent part. Also, every flip has a 50-50 chance of being heads, so we also have constant probability. Example three, roll a fair six-sided die four times and record the number of times it lands on an even number binomial or not? Yes, it is. Why? Number one, we have a fixed n equals four. Four times we're going to roll it. Each roll can only be even or odd, so we can boil that down to even being a success and odd being a failure, or saying even is favorable, odd is unfavorable. If an even happens on one roll, it doesn't change the probability of even happening on the next roll. And also, whoops, and also we have a 0, 0.0, uh, excuse me, 0.5 or one half probability or 50 50 chance of being even on every single roll. Roll a fair six sided die four times and record the number of times it lands with five dots on top. Is this binomial? Again, yes, it is because there's a fixed number n. Each roll can either be a 5 or not a 5, right? A su su 
excuse me, a success would be rolling a five. Not rolling a five would be considered a failure. If a five happens on one roll, it doesn't change the probability of a five on the next roll. Also, every single roll, we have a one in six chance of getting a five. Here's another example. Roll a fair six-sided die four times and record the number of dots on the top face. Is this binomial or not? Answer, not binomial. Can you spot why? Each roll has six possible outcomes instead of only two. Example six, draw four cards one at a time and with replacement from a deck of 52 and record whether the card is a queen. We'll use Q for queen. Is it binomial or not? Answer, yes it is. Why? There is a set number of draws. We're gonna draw four cards. Each draw can only be a queen or not a queen. If a queen is drawn, it doesn't change the probability of a queen on the next draw because we will put each card back in the deck before drawing the next. So the probability of success remains four queens out of 52 playing cards in every single draw. How about this one? Draw four cards one at a time and without replacement from a deck of 52 and record whether it is a queen. So is it binomial or not? What's changed here? Now we're doing it without replacement, so it's not binomial because if a queen is drawn, it changes the probability of a queen on the next draw, right? We don't have independent trials and we don't have a constant probability of success, right? Because we do not put each card back before drawing the next, the probability of a queen on the first draw is four out of 52, but on the next draw, it'll be three out of 51. All right, so next video, we're going to talk about how to calculate probabilities of an exact number of successes.